everybody, Karen Roby and Chris Matizic here for ZDNet. You know, we talk a lot, Chris, about uh, data, security, privacy, all of that good stuff. And as it turns out, uh, Americans, so you have found, trust Google more than they do Apple when it comes to keeping their data safe. Tell us about this. Well, when you say Americans, I would be more precise to say 1,025 Americans who responded to a survey conducted on behalf of a company called Encipher. And this company does quite entertaining surveys. They're the same people who told us not so long ago that 20% uh, of IT professionals are worried that their connected toilets will be hacked. Anyway, so here we are in a situation where these people are being asked in general about encryption. And 17% of them declare that they learned about encryption on TV, which kind of makes me wonder what TV shows they were watching. Was it Mr. Robot? Was it the Kardashians? I don't know, but clearly television is still performing an educative role. However, 18% claimed they never learned about encryption at all. And so didn't know a thing about it. But then the researchers asked, well, who do you trust in terms of keeping your data safe. And more people, slightly more people, it wasn't a huge difference, but more people said Google, and then Amazon, and then Apple, which is a little strange. You, well, that, yes, yes. I did not expect for you to say that, that, that it would fall that way. What was the, what was the reason? What, why did they say? Do people have a reason ever? People just answer questions and think they know the answers. In this case, it's quite odd because Google has been renowned for flouting privacy left, right, and center for many, many years. Now it, of course, claims that privacy is the most important thing in its service. I'm afraid I'm a touch skeptical about that. On the other hand, Apple has made privacy part of its main sales image. So it's actually doing ads about privacy. It's doing billboards in Vegas saying that only uh, your iPhone, only, only what happens on your iPhone stays on your iPhone, which has a certain element of truth to it and also a large element of bloviation. But it's surprising that that message doesn't appear to have got through in the way that I'm sure Apple would have liked. And it's also peculiar that the likes of Google and Amazon are trusted more when um, there was an incident only this week where there was a, a conference of Amazon that Amazon held and it gave people those those badges to wear and it now transpires that those badges actually followed everyone around. Of course it was all anonymous, but there was a chip inside the badge that followed every, all the attendees of the conference around, knew exactly where they were. So, you know, you wonder what's in people's heads. And of course, when you look at these surveys, there's several things that if you look at the raw data, you'll discover um, are in people's heads, and some of them, I would say, just because we humans are the way we are, are somewhat contradictory. So 55% of people said that if their data is encrypted, um, they feel it will be safe. On the other hand, 65% said that hackers could get into encrypted data. So, so we have a situation where we want to believe, I think, we want to believe that the names we're familiar with are trustworthy, um, but somewhere we know that hackers seem to be able to get into anything at any time, and ZDNet thankfully has a lot to write about because it does happen all the time. Yeah, it certainly does. I do. I think we desperately want to believe that these names uh, are taking care of those things on the back end so we don't have to worry about being hacked, but that is just not always the case, Chris. It's not always the case at all. And what was also fascinating, I felt out of this survey, was uh, the respondents were being asked, do they agree that there should be a back door through encryption for the authorities to find out things about people they suspect are criminals? And would you believe that a quarter of the respondents actually said that they're perfectly happy for the police to have a back door anytime they want, FBI, CIA, whoever, um, for any reason whatsoever. And then another quarter thought, well, you know, it would be only fair if the, the, the authorities had access through the back door in criminal cases. And of course, this is something Apple specifically has been fighting against 
when the, the terrorist incident in San Bernardino, Apple told the government it would not jailbreak, it would not break into that phone. And so the government had to find a completely other way of hacking into it. Um, so this is something Apple has been standing on. But if you put those two groups together, it appears that up to half of Americans actually seem to have some sympathy with the authorities being able to have a backdoor into their phones in certain instances. Mm, that's the key, certain instances. And it's hard to say where that's going to stop, uh, Chris. Uh, interesting article, though, and something that we will be talking about much more as we head into 2020. So uh, I, I, we do appreciate always talking to you, though, and really look forward to much more conversations in 2020. And a happy new year to everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody.